Good morning and happy Halloween. Welcome to the Morning Sprint. I'm Brittany Weir bringing you some of the top stories of the day and from over the weekend. As always, any questions or comments, put that in the comment section below. But I want to start today with a question for you guys. What do you plan on dressing up as today or what did you plan on dressing up as over the weekend? I want to hear all your costume ideas and I'll take a second to look at those at the end of this live stream. But I do want to start this morning with some breaking news we've been following from over the weekend. The search continues continues this morning for a suspect wanted after a shooting in the Danville Mall. That suspect is right there. Police say 18-year-old Christian Pinckney, who you see on your screen, shot and killed 26-year-old Taisha King. It happened Saturday in the Hibbett Sport. <laughs> Turn to the mall Sunday where they say retailers reacted quickly. Retailers did a fantastic job, pulled their gates, moved their people to the back, and it enabled him and his team to very quickly sweep make sure a suspect wasn't still here and make sure the patrons and employees were all safe. So. And anyone with information about the incident or the whereabouts of Pickney is asked to contact the Danville Police Department immediately. And we have the full story available for you on our website if you need to relook at those details or just want to see those photos again. And we're working for you following a crime alert in Pennsylvania County. Uh, deputies say they received reports of gunshots near Riceville Road early Sunday morning. Well, when law enforcement arrived to the gathering, people there denied hearing those gunshots. <laughs> Under the state limit, the penalty for speeding will be a hundred dollars. And just to repeat, this is until November 11th, uh, starting November, and then starting November 14th. So just aware, be aware if you are driving uh, near the school, 25 miles, 25 miles per hour is the speed you should be going. Get a little tongue tied here this morning, and now I want to share with you a good news story. Of Halloween. A father in Canada went all out to make Halloween special. You can see it right there. Well, Easton uses a wheelchair because he and that affects his life. So his dad built a costume perfectly for him. See how happy he is. That is so cool. Well, it even got recognized by the national hockey team who declared it the costume of the year. That is an amazing costume and we love all the effort that went into making that. And again, he just looks so happy. And we are asking you guys to share your Halloween costumes with us on WSLS and on our Pin It app as well. If you would like to share them from maybe this weekend or tonight, gonna take a second and look and see if there's any comments coming through about costumes. I don't see any at the moment, but that is okay. I hope you guys have a good Halloween. Stay safe out there. And I hope you get plenty of candy. Thanks for watching.